now we're being asked to take our graph of y equals 4 to the x and transform it into this next graph. So let's draw our previous graph on the screen here yet again. It goes through 0, 1, and 1, 4. And I'm going to just lightly dot this in here in red. And there's the original. Now you can look up here and see this x plus 1 tells us our graph is going to move left one unit and that plus 2 at the end is going to move our graph up two units. So let's take each of our key points and move it left 1 and up 2. The point at 0, 1 goes left 1 and then up 2. Our 1 quarter height moves left 1 and up 2. And over here, over 1, up 2. So our new graph is going to hug the line y equals 2 as our horizontal asymptote and climb from there. It says write the domain and range. The domain is still going to be all real numbers, but the range is only going to be numbers that are greater than, not including, the 2. Okay, let's try another transformation problem. Here we begin with y equals log base 2 of x, which goes through a base point of 1, 0, and it also goes through 2, 1, and it has this vertical asymptote on the y-axis. Now, let's take a look at this another way. The other way to look at this is to say our base graph, before we do any shifting, is going to go through 1, 0. It's also going to go through 2, 1 and it's going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. Now let's look at the transformations. Within the parentheses you have an x minus 2 and that's going to say move our graph right 2. That takes our base graph of 1, 0 or base point of 1, 0 moving it 2 to the right we get 3, 0. And 2, 1 if you move it 2 to the right becomes 4, 1. Then we have a transformation over here with that minus 1 that tells us the graph goes down 1. So here we go, down 1, that'll give me 3, negative 1 and 4, 0. Let's see what happens with our vertical asymptote. When we move 2 to the right, we're now going to have x equals 2, and moving it up or down 1 is not going to have an effect on our graph. So let's take a look at what we've got. We now have 3, negative 1, and 4, 0. And here's that line x equals 2. And so there's our graph shifted 2 to the right and 1 down. They're now asking for the domain of this last graph. And our domain will be from 2, which we don't include, on up to infinity, and the range is going to be all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. Where is the vertical asymptote? It's now the vertical line x is equal to 2. We are now being asked to find the domain of a couple of logarithmic functions. We know that the argument must be positive. It cannot be 0, nor can it be negative. So 5x plus 6 must be greater than 0. And that means x must be greater than negative 6 over 5. And so our domain is from negative 6 over 5 to infinity. That's pretty straightforward. But let's look at this next one. In this next one, we need to make sure that x squared plus 10x plus 9 is greater than 0. And this is going to factor into x plus 9 times x plus 1 greater than 0. And if this was an equation, the two solutions would be negative 9 and negative 1. But this is not an equation. So let's draw a number line and let's highlight negative 9 and negative 1. And let's look at what our answer is going to look like. 
we're going to be substituting numbers into each of these intervals to the left of negative 9, in between these two numbers, and to the right of negative 1 to determine the positiveness or negativeness of each interval. And we want the product of these numbers to be positive. For example, let's look at the x plus 9 interval. Numbers to the left of negative 9 are going to produce negative numbers when substituted into x plus 9. For example, negative 10 plus that 9 makes negative 1. Numbers in the middle, such as 0, 0 plus 9 makes positive 9. And numbers off to the right here will be positive also. Let's substitute values into x plus 1. Now we're going to have negative values in the first two intervals and a positive value off to the right of negative 1. So anytime we choose a number in any of these three intervals, we can see what will the sign be when you add 9 and add 1. Now we want to look at the product of these two signs, looking at x plus 9 times x plus 1. Off to the far left, negative times negative is positive. In the middle, positive times negative is negative. And on the right, positive times positive is positive. We want products which are positive, as we can see with that greater than 0. And that means our solution will be on the left or on the right. In other words, the domain will be from negative infinity to negative 9, united with negative 1 to infinity.